Hi, I'm Christine Niles. Before we get into today's headlines, I'd like to remind you, you can watch headlines and many other videos over at churchmilitant.com. We have The Vortex with Michael Voris, The Download with Michael, Simon, Brad, and me, and many hundreds of hours of premium content. We also have the latest, most relevant Catholic news and commentary and articles posted daily on our site at churchmilitant.com. So please click on the link after this video and we'll see you over at our site. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Wednesday, April 18th, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A New York diocese is selling its bishop's residence to pay out sex abuse victims. Bishop Richard Malone of Buffalo said Tuesday his Oakland Place property will be sold to fund the victim's compensation program to settle claims of priestly sexual misconduct. Malone insisted in his statement, quote, this move underscores the importance we place on helping the victims of abuse to begin healing. Buffalo has paid out $1.2 million to victims in the last 20 years. A New Jersey prelate is forecasting a paradigm shift on homosexuals in the church. Speaking at Villanova University last week, Cardinal Joseph Tobin of Newark said the place of gays in the church is a difficult topic for some Catholics, but reassured his audience the church is moving on the issue of same-sex couples. Tobin asserted the church is leaving behind strict definitions of what it means to be Catholic, saying, quote, it is only the Lord who ultimately judges who belongs or who does not belong. An Oregon man is refusing to pay taxes in a protest against abortion. Michael Bowman has refused to file a tax return since 1999, claiming his Christian beliefs against abortion prevent him from financially supporting the government. And 55 million babies have died in the United States since I was born, thanks to abortion. 55 million. I don't want to pay for that. A federal grand jury indicted Bowman last year, claiming he owes $350,000 in back taxes. A Pennsylvania pastor is stepping down amid claims of financial mismanagement. Prisoners learned Monsignor Joseph McClune of St. Joseph Parish in Downington resigned last weekend after investigation revealed he ran a private bank account over six years that swelled to more than $110,000. About $50,000 was paid from the account, and McClune used 1,500 of it for, quote, personal expenses of an inappropriate nature with other adults. This is the second scandal to rock the parish. Its former pastor, Monsignor William Lynn, was sentenced in 2012 for child endangerment. Pope Francis is warning Catholics to beware of false prophets. At a mass in Vatican City Tuesday, the pontiff said the church today needs prophets, not critics. Reflecting on the martyrdom of St. Stephen, Francis said a true prophet speaks strongly and directly, risking anger and persecution by speaking uncomfortable truths. The Pope also cautioned the faithful against heeding critics, saying the critical judge is not a prophet. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Canada. And check out The Download, where the panel discusses Catholic numbers. God bless you. Thanks for watching Headlines today, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch Headlines along with The Vortex and free episodes of The Download. And even better, watch all of those videos along with many hundreds of hours of premium content over at our website, churchmilitant.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, Church Militant's there, Michael Voris is there, and I'm there. You can follow me on Twitter at Christine Niles one. That's Christine Niles, all one word, and the number one. I do read your tweets and I do enjoy interacting with followers. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.